Okay, welcome. Let's turn the phones off for a second. Welcome to Monday. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our News 12 video weather blog. Weather overtime, keeping you informed as to what's going on. So if you have any questions about what's happening with the forecast, please give us a shout out into the comments section and let us know what you're thinking. And if there's anything we can't answer, we'll try to find a way to get uh, information to where we might be able to do so. A lot more smoke possible in the next couple of days as we see the potential for those wildfires up in Canada, a lot of which are not even close to being contained, and we could see that smoke working its way down our direction. Already have, in fact, kind of a hazy, smoky smell out there for the last couple of d d days. A little clearer, but now starting to get a little bit more of that haze out there. Coming up, we'll take a look at the Almanac page. We'll take a look at radar. We'll see what's going on in the tropics, which, again, for right now, isn't all that much. It's World Environment Day, and if you'd like to know a little bit more about what's going on there, please check out more details on my social media website for more information on that. We do have a couple of showers and thunderstorms trying to develop right north of Chattanooga, right along that front that's coming our direction. It's about 10, 15 minutes before 10 o'clock Eastern time, and we do have some rumbles of thunder making their way south. But as of right now in Titan radar, we have nothing in the way of severe thunderstorm warnings or anything like that. There could be some hail with these storms, not a lot, but there could be the potential of that for right now. So please keep that in mind. Again, much of what we're seeing right north of the Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee line and more activity, much more, in fact, well down to our south and west over portions of the Delta and into around portions of East Texas, West Louisiana. But for us, we have that front dropping on through and that's what's going to give us both the potential for smoke and the potential for some showers and thunderstorms out there. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little while. Currently CHI Memorial Stadium camera everything moving along quite nicely. Uh, looking back toward usually we can see the lights of Signal Mountain off there in the distance but not quite so much tonight because again we've got all that uh, smoke and haze out there for right now so less in the way of problems from that. From Lee Point we did manage to see a little bit more cloud cover I guess we don't have that turnaround to uh, 153 and uh, 64 interchange, so a little on the dark side there. Downtown Chattanooga, more haze, and again, almost able to see some of the lights up on top of Lookout Mountain for this evening. And from our Island Cove camera, had some decent amounts of rain over the area there. Clouds breaking up a little bit, but again, it's a little bit on the hazy side thanks to that smoke coming on down from parts of Canada. We'll talk more about that uh, in just a little bit. Have to thank our latest weather window uh, contributor, Diane Brown Cashman. The uh, Riverbend Festival this last weekend wrapped up with a spectacular show of fireworks. So the bridge here, the river down here, and fireworks sparks falling from the bridge, I believe on Sunday evening. So thank you very much, uh, Diane Brown Cashman, for that look over downtown at the river. If you've got pictures, we'd love to see them. Send them in to us at pictures at WDEF.com or drop them to our Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram pages. Would love to be able to see what you're seeing out there. So send them in to us. For tomorrow, again, out on the golf course, earlier will be better than later. Could be some isolated thunderstorms out there. Forget the cardigan as well as temperatures are back around 90 degrees. And again, with that chance of lightning out on the golf course with metal spikes, broad flat surface where you're the tallest thing and a metal rod in your hand, not a good place to be. Again, where lightning is concerned. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be outdoors uh, at any point in time, but especially in the afternoon and evening. Almost exactly where we should be for temperatures at this time of the year. 87 degrees for today. Normal is 86, so we're starting to get into those mid to upper 80s at the time we hit early June. So we're pretty much on schedule there. We are still behind. We were way behind for May. Now about a half an inch behind for June as we haven't gotten anything for the entire week that we've been in June so far almost and about three inches behind normal where it comes to rainfall on the year. So we could definitely use some more of that. Record high hasn't been broken since 2011 of 98 and record low hasn't been broken since 46 degrees in 1946. So that's a good way to remember what the record high and low uh, temperature were on that day. Let's go ahead and take a look and show you what's going on on the surface. We've got a couple of storm systems here and there, one off to the west, stirring up some of this shower and thunderstorm activity, and this one again hanging around and sparking off 
uh, some more of the showers and thunderstorms that we see. But what we have coming in north of us is a new front. This one, if it curves, if the area of low pressure heads off to the east a little bit, this may curve around a little bit from the northeast, and that would cause it to become what's called a backdoor cold front. Most fronts come in from the northwest. If this comes in from the northeast, it's considered coming in from a different direction, and it's nicknamed a backdoor cold front instead of a regular cold uh, air mass coming in on the regular, which is a regular front door cold front. Now, with this, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. I hope I can... Uh, show this to you because unfortunately sometimes the uh, frame rate and the data resets uh, on this. What you're looking at is the visible satellite picture from earlier today. You can see where that new front is dropping on down to the south. In front of that and with it, notice those gray colors right there. That's the concentration of smoke from those wildfires off parts of southeastern Canada, and it's already making its way. Notice again right there, northwest Tennessee through northern middle Tennessee, and right back around portions of Kentucky. That's the wildfire smoke we've been watching, the latest burst coming down from the north. And it looks like for right now, we are going to be seeing uh, even more potential for that smoke coming on down. Because as of right now, what we are seeing is the best potential of some of that smoke uh, settling in mainly just to our north. And again, that's basically what we've been seeing for uh, the last couple of hours. So we're not getting too much here. Matter of fact, most of it has avoided a lot of the Tennessee River Valley. So we have a little bit more of this from Missouri and Arkansas through northern middle Tennessee and the best potential uh, back to the north along and on either side of the Ohio River Valley. Now, in the next couple of days, this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting as we see uh, the higher smoke concentration colors in the white less in the orange and the purple so as this kind of settles on down our direction we will see the potential of some of that pouring on down our direction so that that next burst of that area of low pressure just south of that area of high pressure comes through and helps to drive some of that smoke a little bit closer to us and that is where again around Thursday morning, we may see the potential of a lot of that smoke barreling on through. So it could be a very hazy sunrise for Thursday, maybe even a sunset for Friday night, depending on how fast the smoke gets on down here. Now, beyond that, it doesn't look like a lot coming through here and the bulk of the smoke moving off toward New England, but we will see maybe some of that coming on through. Now, for right now, uh, the health department and into and around the area for talking about uh, what's going on with the Air Pollution Control Bureau is showing so far just moderate air conditions. We're not showing anything in the way of uh, major problems with the forecast, so good news on that. We'll be posting more of that uh, to our website for more details, so definitely want to stay tuned again uh, for more on what we're looking for when it comes to smoke out there. Now, in some parts close to the News 12 viewing area, there is the potential of seeing uh, the possibility of worse air quality just to our east. Again, we covered Cherokee County in North Carolina, and that's as far east as our broadcast signal goes. And this is the rest of the News 12 viewing area from Chattanooga outwards. This part of western, kind of around northwestern North Carolina, this is where we see the worst potential of smoke pooling around parts of the Appalachians, which is why the National Weather Services that cover this area has issued an air quality alert from 7 a.m. Tuesday to 7 a.m. Wednesday. That's all Eastern time. So this, again, could be an area with anybody who has heart ailments, uh, lung ailments like emphysema, asthma. You might be seeing worse conditions for breathing here as long as that smoke holds in place up against the higher elevation. So please consider that uh, if you're going to be traveling anywhere between, say, Knoxville, Asheville, and Murphy, that is where we could be seeing the worst potential. And this could change as well for the better, for the worse. If this does change, we'll let you know. So please consider that uh, if you're going to be doing anything outdoors, especially in this area to the east of the News 12 viewing area counties, this is where we could be seeing, again, a bit of a problem out there. Let's run the numbers into uh, the rest of the forecast where we see again the potential for uh, more in the way of showers and thunderstorms coming up a little later on but again for tonight it's going to be relatively limited partly cloudy humid 
cool-ish as we go into Tuesday morning. For Tuesday afternoon, it will be very warm depending on how much sunshine we get. Shower and thunderstorm chances will be a possible problem uh, into around the afternoon and evening. We will see less of a chance on Wednesday morning as that drier air settles on down to the south of us. We see the potential of, again, more chances of showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday. Uh, as in it's going to happen again, but less in the way of coverage chances. So good news uh, where that is concerned. Now, early Thursday morning should be relatively pleasant. You can see again where the bulk of that front comes on through that curve in the clouds coming on through there. And then, excuse me, by early Thursday afternoon should not be quite as hot as that drier, less hot air blasts its way on through. So that again should be making things a lot more comfortable for us into the course of the next couple of days. So good news on that. Matter of fact, you can see that change coming on through on our seven day forecast. This is where we see again should be pushing 90 degrees for both Tuesday and Wednesday. There will be chances of showers and thunderstorms. May have to take the showers and thunderstorms out of the forecast on Thursday, depending on how soon that cooler, drier air gets into place. So we'll drop the numbers as that front moves on through. So the end of the week, much cooler than the beginning of the week. And then more sunshine Saturday and Sunday. No rainfall expected. That's where we see the temperatures bounce back to near 90 degrees. And then our next chance of showers and thunderstorms coming on through by about Monday. Not great chances, but at least we'll see some of that. Uh, again, outdoor activities this time of the year. Still got graduations going on. Still got outdoor uh, summer camps, vacation, Bible school, athletic events, soccer, football, baseball, whatever you've got going on. Be aware of what's happening and keep up to date with what's happening with lightning out there. We saw some lightning today striking about 5, 10 miles away from the parent thunderstorm. So it can happen. So keep track of what's happening. If you see lightning or hear thunder, it's time to wrap things up, get back indoors again just to be uh, on the safe side. So not bad on the temperatures up and down over the next couple of days. So not looking too bad there all the way on through. Uh, from what it seems, uh, from what we can see on this forecast for the time being. Let's see if I can find it back here. Uh, the good news is last week, if you tuned in, one of the last times that we did an update, uh, Arlene was a tropical storm. Now it's way out into the Atlantic, just a bunch of clouds, maybe a few showers. There's really not much more than that at this time. Going farther into the Atlantic from the Gulf and the Western Atlantic into the Eastern Atlantic, there is a storm system just off the coast of Africa and the Southern Iberian Peninsula. This one moving again, that area of yellow you see indicates the way of travel, that little semicircle back there. So drifting back toward the Canary Islands, not much of a threat at this time. 10% development chances over the next two to seven days. Nothing else developing in the tropics at this point. And we're not even a week into the season. So we've got the A storm under uh, in, under the books for right now underway. So that storm system, what's left of Arlene, not a problem at this point. But we still have a very long way to go where tropical storm season is concerned. So definitely want to keep it tuned. Uh, to News 12 again for more information on that. Want to keep up to date with the weather and again for an area that doesn't have tornado sirens, this is a very good thing to have. Get yourself a NOAA weather radio. 20, 30 bucks for this particular model from Midland. There are other types of models out there more expensive the more bells and whistles you want on them we can help you program it let us know more about what you see and feel out there with getting these things ready it's not that hard go to wdef.com slash weather and you can see our video about how to program it so you can get the counties in there that you want so you won't be bothered by warnings for other counties that you don't want it's a very simple way to set up if you're a teacher if you're an administrator for a school fall semester is coming up and our fall schedule usually fills up very quickly. So if you want to get on the books for a time and a date to get our, P our weather personnel to f bring you a uh, presentation about the weather, please do so. Head to our Food City Weather in the Classroom program. More information available at WDEF.com slash weather. And just click on the Weather in the Classroom program again for more. One more check of radar at this time. And again, outside of a few showers and thunderstorms up around Dunlop to about Dayton and dropping to the south. And that is right at 10 o'clock Eastern time. We probably are not going to see much more than this 
not expecting anything in the way of severe weather so definitely good news uh, where that is concerned we'll keep you updated on that uh, through the rest of the evening don't forget i'll have more coming up on news 12 at 11 o'clock so stay tuned for more there that'll about wrap it up for us and again there's little if anything really going on for this evening uh, hopefully it stays that way we'll keep you updated on things on our website wdef.com slash weather chip chapman has your forecast bright and early on uh, tuesday morning starting at 5 a.m eastern and of course i'll be back with the evening show information and of course online on my social media channels you'll find me out there someplace i'm usually all over the place so stay tuned for more there live and direct from downtown chattanooga tennessee on news 12 wdef i'm chief meteorologist austin onick you've been watching the live edition of weather overtime on facebook and stay tuned for more with news 12 on air online and thanks for joining us tonight